I'm here to talk about overlanding, from how-tos, advice, gear, vehicle builds, and everything in between. As overlanders, we all love our creature comforts. It's just what we do. It's almost like we take our house with us. But to run those creature comforts, we need power for them. So that's why I highly suggest a dual battery system. One we use is from National Luna. This is their smart solenoid. It's a really cool system. What it does is uh, it allows your main battery to charge. It knows when it's full, when it's done charging. And then a switch flips in there and then it starts powering your auxiliary battery. You also get a display that you can put inside your cab. It gives you a readout of your primary battery or your engine battery and your auxiliary battery. So a dual battery system like this is a great way to go. All right, so let's take a look at some of the things we need a dual battery system for here at Expedition Overland. This truck is our primary production vehicle. Let's take a look at some of the things we have to charge. Down here we've got camera battery charging stuff, we've got radios, we also have our stuff for audio. Underneath all of this we have two Group 31 AGM batteries. Now those are tied in to our smart solenoid. There's a few different charging options for when you're parked and camping. One we like to use is the SeaTech battery charger and we simply just plug it into a generator. Underneath here we have an inverter which allows us to plug in any normal wall plugins, right? So your computers, hard drives, all of that, we can charge right through here. Now on this 4Runner, we have things set up a little differently. We have the S-Pod under the hood, and we have our dual battery system with the smart solenoid set up inside of the cab. The reason we have this set up inside of the cab is so it's easily accessible. Okay, now let's figure out how much power you actually need out of your battery. It's been made pretty simple for us because of math. So what we need to do first is just figure out the draw from each of our devices, or how many amps each of our devices uses. We've got our fridge, our light bar, all of our smaller lights, and then we move down to a little bit of our production gear here. So we add all of that up. We come out with a total of 37.4 amps, which means we need a battery with 98 amp hours. Now, how did we get that? We plug this number into this formula here. And I'll leave a link right up here for you to go to to find this. There's actually a website you type in your numbers, it'll do all the math for you. It also walks through all of this and you, it'll explain the math for you if you want to find that out. It's a really good resource to have and we use it all the time. So there you go, there's some battery systems. There's a way to learn how much power you need and I hope you really dive into this stuff and understand how it works because the last thing you want is when you're out on the trail for your power systems to fail. So let me know what you guys do, what questions you might have, uh, the systems that you run the creative things you've come up with and leave your comments below.